this thing performs so flawless. I'm beyond ecstatic about having it on the car. I believe it's the best mod that I've done thus far. I mean, without a doubt, it's definitely the most rewarding in terms of the feel and everything like that with the car. Good morning, guys. How's it going? Thank you for tuning in to another video. Today is the day we give you the first impressions on the MGW. I've driven the car maybe 100 miles with the shifter so far. I wanted to make sure I got some seat time before I made some comments on how I feel about the shifter and what I think of it overall. So before I get into this video, I have to go ahead and explain to you some of the differences between the MGW and the stock shifter. So the stock shifter is actually mounted um, up into like kind of like the body of the vehicle and it uses some really janky mounts, uh, nothing like too sturdy, nothing too um, you know stiff. It's very loose and that's why when you're driving a you know 18 or 19 with that stock shifter, um, a lot of times uh, you'll notice that there's a, quite a bit of play in uh, the shifter itself. You know, like it wiggles a lot um, and uh, you're not, it's not the most confidence inspiring shifter, all right? That's kind of the, the way to sum it up. So uh, you can drive aggressively with it, but whether you're gonna be hitting the right gear or getting locked out of it um, is kind of a hit or miss. You know, I've been locked out of gears before when I was racing because uh, you know trying to shift the transition too fast it wasn't lined up correctly and it, it'll pretty much just miss a gear so that's one thing that the MGW uh, will definitely kind of eliminate or help out with quite a bit you know, you know missing gears is you know greatly reduced unless you really suck at shifting and shifting faster is another thing that I wanted to get better at um, obviously you know you already had a big disadvantage when you go from you know an auto to, to a manual um, in terms of like shifting speed and having that stock shifter just makes it that much worse so I wanted to be able to just be a little quicker you know maybe not as quick as a auto for sure I'm not gonna be that fast but I'll be faster with some, than some other manuals on the road and that to me was a little better so the shifter helps out in that area as well and you know the lastly it's just all about kind of the, the shifting feel you know when you drive a car and it's a manual you're you know you're the things that you're most concerned about are your clutch and then your shifter and obviously your steering wheel because those are the things that you're interacting with like non-stop and to have a shifter that's not very you know tight and you know precise and and kind of confidence inspiring is a big letdown and for that reason when I and got the MGW, I knew it was gonna go ahead and kind of enhance the, the manual driving experience. And all I've been saying uh, this whole time since I got the car is that uh, this car to me is all about the driver. It's something that brings me joy every time I take it out. And I wanted something that I can truly enjoy kind of ripping gears and, and having fun with. And this is why this was a super, super important mod to do. You know, the MGWs, um, I know there's like a Barton Hybrid and stuff like that, but I believe the MGW is the best one to get. And the reason is, um, you know, it replaces the whole uh, assembly the stock assembly completely comes out and you have a whole new shifter that's tranny mounted so you don't have to worry about um, you know vibrations or anything like that it, it's, it's just fully connected to the transmission and you feel that when you're driving you feel the stiffness you feel the preciseness of the gear shifts um, this specific one that I have in this car right now is the the race spec X so um, it's the shorter one so it's got like the the shortest throw um, it sits lower as you can see here and I do have a weighted shift knob on top of it as well um, and just overall it, it feels very very uh, tight very heavy and uh, I don't know I'm really digging it you know over stock it's a huge improvement and uh, especially when you're kind of throwing from first to second or second to third uh, it just goes in so smooth it's just amazing it really kind of blows my mind how much of a difference it's made for this transmission um, and for this car in general and I like the fact that it sits lower actually I thought I wouldn't be too big a fan of that but because this tunnel right here kind of gives you a perfect kind of resting point for your hand it, it actually works really well you know I can just kind of rest my hand here my hands not tired and uh, you know, shift my gears and 
do it very comfortably, do it very precisely every single time. So overall, I've been really, really happy about the way this MGW feels. And I think for the money, it's one of the best mods you can do uh, as a driver. You know, if you're a driver and you care about that driving experience, then definitely um, look into the MGWs. There's obviously different models and stuff like that. Um, you don't have to go this short if you're not into into this you know feel or look necessarily. But for me, I found it that it, it, it's working out pretty good. Um, and one thing I do have to comment on is just how short everything is. You know, going from first to second is extremely short. Even being in neutral, there's really not much play at all. Now, granted, this might loosen up over some, you know, driving miles. It might get a little looser between, uh, you know, the, the shifter feel itself. But right now, it's like super, super tight and stiff. And uh, that's, you know, that's just something you have to kind of get used to. It definitely takes a little more energy than it did before. But man, oh man, does it really kind of glide into gears like perfectly. There's like no chance in my head that I'm missing a gear with this thing. And it's, and I'll, I'll tell you why. I mean, it's just because it's such a mechanical feel to it, you know? Like it's such a mechanical feel to it. And the springs that are in there that kind of line everything up are so, so tight and like smooth at doing their job that it just works amazing. So yeah, I mean, there's really not too much I can, I can do and say, but uh, one thing that I, ha I am trying to kind of get used to is the reverse. Uh, the reverse is a little different. Um, obviously stock, you guys know you lift the collar up um, and it puts you in reverse. This one is a little different. This one you got to push down and over. And uh, that's obviously kind of like something that we got to get used to because I did not have that before. And uh, it's, a, it's a little different. You know, it's a little different. It takes some adjusting to get used to it. Um, but the nice thing with this shifter is you can adjust a lot of this stuff. So you can literally just kind of take off this piece up here and do some like minor tweaks and adjustments to set it exactly where you want it. So it's really all about customizing it for the driver and making it super kind of driver oriented, um, you know, to whatever suits your needs. And that's perfect. You know, as time progresses, I spend more time with the shifter. I'll do some adjustments to it to make it, you know, perfect for me and my driving style and what I need it to do. So that's the cool thing about it. Now, I don't want this to sound like a, a MGW sponsored ad, but for me, I'm all about kind of giving praise where praise is due. And when a company makes a good product that is definitely, you know, doing what it's supposed to do, you got to kind of give them some, uh, you got to give them some uh, respect, give them acknowledgement of what they have been able to do because they are making really, really cool products and definitely a product that uh, they stand behind. I talked to the owner of the company, um, you know, and he was a really cool dude. So definitely check him out. If you have a manual, I think you can't go wrong with going with MGW. I know there's other options out there, but I believe this is like the best of the best. Uh, the install is not the easiest, I'll tell you that, but it's definitely worth it. I mean, it's a one-time thing that you're gonna install it, so uh, I wouldn't trip about it too much. Just find a good shop to do it. Hit up Voodoo Autosport, they'll take care of you guys. Send, tell them Rush sent you. And uh, yeah, I mean, I can't say too much more. So, I just wanted to jump on here today and kind of give you guys a little bit of a update as to how I'm feeling with the shifter and everything. I'm heading to the Apple store this morning because my uh, computer that I was editing on broke down, so I have to buy another one. Um, so that's why kind of the, the videos have been lacking a little bit lately. So just bear with me. Summer is kind of moving along and uh, I'm just kind of getting adjusted, getting to the groove of things. I think I should park in the parking structure today because I don't want to deal with any rain if there is anything. So let's go ahead and do it and go in the parking structure. And then I'll pull out the MGW, I'll sh or sorry, I'll pull out the stock shifter right now. I'll show it to you guys. Um, and you'll kind of understand what I mean when I say like the MGW is way more stiff. Um, it, it'll all make sense. Just give me a minute here. Let's go into this parking structure. The car's going to sound amazing in here. I may or, I may or may have not done this before. set off any alarms. I don't want to be the asshole today. Alright, let's go ahead and hide 
the Mustang somewhere nice, away from everything and everyone. We'll go over there. And I detailed the car. So what I'm saying is in reverse, so I push it down and over, and now we're into reverse. Oh, we can't get too close because I need to take some stuff out of the trunk. All right, let's go back. All right, there we are. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the stock shifter. I'll tell you a little more. And I want to show you how clean my car is today. So as you can see there, she is clean as can be. Super glossy. I did a coat of uh, Meguiar's wax on her and kind of polished it a little bit. But detail my wheels as well. Let's go ahead and pop this trunk open. All right. So, let's go ahead and show you the stock shifter. Okay, so the stock shifter right here, as you can see, um, you know, this is the piece that mounts the stock shifter to the transmission right here. So the MJW actually has two arms, and this is the mount that I was telling you, mounts it to the body of the car. And as you can see, it's rubber, it's, it's kind of like a jello feel to it and this is what's supposed to give you all that confidence so you see there's a lot of wiggle room in here so there's a lot of play we can move this all kinds of ways and not only that but look at this piece right here i mean this thing's got a ton of movement in it so it goes up down you know round and round this piece moves too so all this is what contributes to all that play that we're talking about so this piece also kind of mounts to the transmission so the two pieces really holding this thing in this piece is kind of a little more stiff but then it's kind of ruined because it it's held in the back with you know this rubber piece right here and you can see there's a lot of play and the stick shift itself is just super loose so the mgw there's no play even when it was out of the car i was kind of wiggling it around a little bit here and there and there was really not too much play at all in that uh in the way that stick was so you know this thing is just super super flimsy and obviously it's like highly produced there's a lot of them that they make so it's not going to be the most you know efficient product that they come up with in a car that you know is one of the best selling sports cars in america so obviously that is gonna not have the most focus on it but that is pretty much it for this video i want to do kind of a one take on the saturday tell you guys how i'm feeling about the mgw show you the car a little bit the car is looking good um, you know, we got more things planned, obviously. You guys know we're just kind of chugging along, making all these uh, little changes here and there. I'm super stoked about the calipers. I might end up just installing my uh, ceramic pads this weekend if I get some time. But if you are enjoying these videos and uh, you want to support me, be sure to drop a like on these videos because it really helps them get seen and it helps them get out there. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, show some love. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for checking out this video. My name is Rush. Here is my GT and we will catch you guys next time. Peace.